So hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to try something a little bit different this week. Um, I'm in a town called Morecambe in the county of Lancashire and it is currently Storm Kira here on the sort of west coast of Britain and the winds are pretty strong. I think there's wind gusts at times of up to 70 mile an hour. So it's going to be pretty challenging to photograph and even more challenging to video. So hopefully you guys can bear with me, but it's looking really really cool i hope you could see some of this the waves are crashing in it's currently actually i think it's still probably another half hour till high tide but at the minute um it's looking pretty wild so quite interested to photograph there's another uh, sort of big reason why i've come to this area to photograph today and i'll get into that um, a little bit later on in this video but for now oh, i think i've found my first composition of the day let's crack on <laughs> This is absolute carnage. Um, incredibly exciting all the same though. Oh my goodness. Um, it is so windy. I think we're quite lucky because um, there seems to be a bit of a break in the rain. So we're still getting these beautiful stormy conditions, but it's a lot easier for us to deal with our gear. And obviously I'm not getting soaked as well and it's much easier to film. So I'm trying to make the most of this opportunity. Um, you can see there's going to be a lot of handheld vlogging today, by the way, guys, because I am terrified to put this tripod down on the floor. I hope you don't mind. You can see we found these um, sort of steps that lead down um, into the nice, beautiful, tranquil, serene Morecambe Bay there. Uh, oh, absolute carnage, but it's making for some cracking photography. And there's a hell of a lot that I like about this, to be honest. Um, of course, the steps just work as the most natural, perfect leading line down into the sea. And then off in the background, obviously we've got them gorgeous stormy skies, but I've tried to include as much of the, as the sea as possible. So I've stuck the wide angle on and I think I'm at 11 millimeters. Oh, I'm at 16, I can go even wider. Um, no, I think I actually prefer it zoomed in a little bit. But either way, it's really, really cool. So I'm setting to fairly important here um, because I'm trying to create an effect within the image. I'm trying to capture the movement of them waves as they're crashing into us here. ISO 100. Um, F13 and one sixth of a second. I've stopped down a little bit to F13 just to get a little bit of a quicker, uh, sorry, a little bit of a longer shutter speed. One sixth of a second seems to be working perfectly um, to capture these waves. So it's been a little bit of a trial and error. And basically, all I'm doing is obviously I've got myself set up on the tripod, settings are all locked in. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> Two second timer on the camera and any time I could see a wave coming in I'll try and time it two seconds obviously just before it's gonna crash into these steps seems like there might be one or two coming in there I'll try and capture one now for you guys to see and yeah I'll probably take honestly like oh there's a good one there oh that's not bad that's not bad so I, I genuinely will probably take 30 or 40 photographs here and then when I get home in Lightroom, when it's a bit more comfortable, there's a big one coming in here. Where's my shutter button? There we go. Oh, carnage. Um, yeah, I'll be able to choose my best one then, won't I? Not letting go of that tripod. Right, I'll explain to you a bit more why I've come to this location um, in a bit, but I want to find another place to photograph down in that direction, which is back towards Morecambe Town. Um, the waves are looking pretty ferocious down there so I'll pop this image up for you guys to see I hope that you like it and then let's go and find some more madness
All right, so the rain is still letting off, so it means that we can get more photography done. It's a, a tiny, a tiny, tiny little bit more pleasant, you know, it's more bearable. Uh, but the photography, the photographic opportunities are just splendid, like top draw, because um, these conditions, you know, they're not particularly common, like these winter storms, but I mean, that's what today's all about. I'm just trying to make the most of it. Now, I've got another little idea for a shot here. We've got um, this exposed section of beach here, you can probably see there just behind me. And pretty much all the way down the promenade from what I could see, there's no other exposed sections of beach. And what I really like is the way that the waves are coming in there. And then you can see there, it's doing it now. It's like receding back outwards and creating all these beautiful white lines. Um, I'm in a fortunate position here because I can kind of get set up on the promenade. You see there, I don't have to go down onto the beach. God, it's windy which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to try and make the most of this now whilst uh, the tide seems spot on at the minute for what I'm trying to achieve. Now, just briefly before I get myself set up, um, I mentioned at the start of the video that I'm here for quite a specific reason. Um, I've actually got an exhibition. If you've been on my Kofi page recently, you'll have seen. Um, I've got an exhibition. The date's not 100% set in stone yet, but I think it's going to be in July of this year. Um, and it's gonna fall in line with the summer holidays, which is fantastic for me. It should be a bit of a busier time. But yeah, I'm super excited for that. And it's gonna be at Lancaster Museum. And that's why I wanna try and get a few more photographs of the Lancashire area and not just focus on Cumbria, which is over Morecambe Bay there. Um, I think it'll be nice to have a few more Lancashire shots for my portfolio and to include in my exhibition, hopefully. Um, and it'll be a really good chance for me to meet some of you guys as well, which is gonna be awesome. So I'm going to get set up here now, in this area, probably get the 20, uh, 16 to 35 lens on. oh my goodness, and see what we can get. <laughs> quite busy out on the promenade which is cool it's really cool to see people out enjoying the storm so to speak like I do think it's the sort of thing that you should get out in as long as it's safe I think it's just an awesome um, event I suppose if you want to call it that um, you know photography aside it's just fun like especially when you can get onto a promenade like this um, so yeah just going back to my exhibition briefly um, I will confirm the actual dates when they're 100% um, confirmed themselves probably on my Instagram or you know I'll tell you guys on here on this YouTube channel so I really do look forward to that right so I'm set up here for another shot you can see I put the 16 to 35 on like I said I was gonna and in many ways technically I'm doing the same sort of things here to try and achieve the same results but I've just had to tweak the settings ever so slightly I think it's actually got a little bit brighter um, conditions are absolutely gorgeous at the minute for this sort of shot oh my god it is so windy so I um, zoomed all the way out at 16 mil, which is proven absolutely perfect. You can see here I'm in portrait dimension. I just want to show you my tripod as well. I've managed to sort of lock it in here in the, uh, I don't know, the railings for the promenade, uh, which is perfect. It's pretty stable, like I've got one fifth of a second shutter speed and ISO 100. And to get that one fifth of a second, I'm shooting at F18, which is fine, I don't mind. Um, wow. And yeah, same sort of thing waiting for the waves to come in but this time probably more waiting for them to recede back outwards to capture those lines it leaves these beautiful white lines these white streaks in the sand uh, which just make a wonderful leaning line and beautiful foreground interest really and um, portrait dimension is working really nice again I, I always hear myself saying this but I just don't need to capture just grab a shot there I've got some nice streaks I just don't need to capture tons on the left and right hand side of the frame um, and yeah, it's really, really nice. Got a beautiful sky there across Morecambe Bay. Nice and moody, stormy, just as to be, to be expected. Um, oh, we've got some gorgeous streaks there. See, I'm just trying to grab them now. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. So again, like my last shot, I'll probably take about 30 images here and just choose my favorite one when I get home. Um, tell you what, if this isn't anything, it's a hell of a lot of fun. take one more photograph because the wind's getting the winds are getting stronger it is absolute carnage out here but oh my god 
so exciting. I would highly recommend you come out with your camera during a storm on the coast like this. As long as it's safe, of course. It is a, it's a thrill, to say the least. Absolute class. And I've just missed coastal photography in general. So probably a little bit of a short video this week, but I hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different from me. I certainly have. Now, the tripod's down there on the deck. Absolute useless in this situation. The winds are too strong. And I need a really, really, really fast shutter speed for what I'm trying to achieve here. So let me just double check my settings there. F5, ISO 640, and that's giving me one 1,600th one of a second. So an incredibly fast shutter speed for a couple of reasons, really. One, just because the wind is blowing the camera all over the shop and shooting handheld, I need a quick shutter speed to try and get my image nice and sharp. And I'm zoomed in on the long lens at 135 mil, so even more so I need that quick shutter speed because the camera shake when you zoom in that far is just accentuated. So that is quite important in this situation. Another thing that I quite like though with the fast shutter speed is it's freezing the movement in those waves off there in the background, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I think the last two shots, as much as I think they're cool, as much as I like them, the slow shutter speed actually, I don't know, kind of dulls down the effect of the storm a little bit. Oh God, there's some hail or something coming in here. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice to freeze the movement in them waves. It almost, I don't know, I'm hoping that the image gets across the ferocity of these waves and of this storm. Um, the subject, bottom sort of third of the frame, if not more, is going to be just more convey just to see and then we've got the stone jetty which is quite a famous or well-known landmark i suppose in morecambe it's just a pier that jits out quite far into morecambe bay and it's acting as quite a nice subject for this image and then we're, we've got some of the cumbrian mountains off there in the background as well which is awesome and a, again a little bit of a stormy sky um so yeah pretty nice shot it's definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna make that the last one um i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video like i said something a little bit different and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you on the next adventure. Out.